Hey, superstars, it's your best friend, Scott, and welcome to another fun-filled episode of Marker Doodle Monday. Today, I'm drawing somebody who, honestly, I'm quite shocked we haven't drawn before, but we're going to do Hall of Famer and the best pitcher from the 90s, Greg Maddox, for Brian at High Pop Professor. In case you hadn't noticed, I try to stick to a little formula for my Marker Doodle Monday script so that when I'm putting these videos together, it's easier for me because, you know, I got a lot to do on Mondays. Uh, we did the intro, obviously. Next is where I talk about the project and the task that I was given, followed by a little bit about the player and then the sales pitch. And then I thank everybody for watching and you're on your merry way. I'm not sure why I'm telling you this. I just sat down and I started typing it all out, but formulas can be good. They encourage consistency and never was there a pitcher that was more consistent than Greg Maddox here. But I am getting ahead of myself. I'm supposed to talk about the project before I talk about the player, but if a pitcher can mix up his pitch sequence to surprise a hitter, maybe it's good that I mix up my sequence to keep you viewers on your toes. Anyway, uh, Brian reached out and he asked about a couple of things. He wanted me to design one of those Zion slab flips and I had to turn them down because I'm just not good at those. I've spent hours trying to design one for myself and I still can't really get it right. And quite frankly, I find them frustrating. Um, he also wanted a Greg Maddox doodle. That I can do and I was excited to do. He provided some reference photos and some fun ideas to toy around with. Um, he thought it would be cool to put Maddox in his glasses because he looks more studious that way. And then he thought about a professor's hat and a monocle and a uh, gold glove. And the monocle and the glasses wouldn't really work together and the professor's hat seemed like it would be a little bit confusing. So we're gonna do the glasses and we're gonna do the gold glove on this one. That all seemed really fitting because Maddox was the ultimate pitching nerd and he had 18 gold gloves. Like I said, he's a Hall of Famer. He was the first pitcher to win four consecutive Cy Young Awards. He was an eight-time All-Star. He won 355 games over his 23-year career. Just a crazy good pitcher for a really long time. And uh, now when a pitcher throws a complete game with less than 100 pitches, it's now called a Maddox because he did that 13 times. He was a master of control and reading hitters' minds. His fastball was usually just about 90 miles an hour, but uh, he always knew exactly where to put it and what the hitter would do with his pitches. His mechanics were just incredible too. He had this repeatable delivery that made him highly durable, and I think he only had one stint on the disabled list during his career. Sales pitch time. This original art is going to Brian, but if you like nerdy pictures and you want a custom card with this art, I'm happy to sell you one. Greg Maddox ran the numbers and he says the likelihood of you buying one is pretty good, especially if your name is Liam or Bill or Carlisle. So who am I to argue with Greg Maddox, right? A limited number of these are available in my Etsy store right now while supplies last. Link is in the description below. And as always, I really appreciate all of your support. There's the professor. Some fun touches on this one. Thanks, Brian, for the input and for trusting me to do this one. And of course, thank you guys for watching. Now go find a better video to watch and we'll see you real soon.